So guys, for the first method, you want to head over to search and type in system configuration. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on the boot tab and you want to make sure that safe boot has been unticked. So if you previously have safe boot ticked, you want to untick this and then click on OK. And then you just want to click on restart. See if this fixes the problem. Now for the second method, you want to get to this screen. Now to get to this screen, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. Once you turn it back on again, you're going to see the Windows Zone screen. Now once you see the Windows Zone screen, you want to turn off your computer and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then it will bring you to here. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly. You want to click on advanced options, which will then bring us into here. So guys, now once you're on here, you want to click on troubleshoot and then click on advanced options and then click on command prompt. And now once you're on this, you want to type in bcd edit space forward slash delete value space. And then you want to put the bracket that looks like this. So hold shift on your keyboard and then click on bracket and then you'll get this one right here. And then type in default. And then do it again, so type in the bracket like this, put another space, and then type in safe boot, and click on enter. And now once you've done that, you just want to close this out, and then you want to click on continue onto Windows, and then that's fix your problem.